We have a 1,200 cubic foot altitude chamber. We have the ability to manipulate the oxygen level in here to simulate high altitudes. So what we're going to do is put you in there and adjust the oxygen levels to simulate altitude and have you perform some critical tests. Jeff will wear a 60-pound vest, simulating the same gear he'd be carrying up the mountain. He'll climb for five minutes while the science team measures his oxygen saturation and vital signs. Then we'll reveal the enemy. But there's a catch. One is armed, and the other is not. After intense high-altitude aerobic activity, the Army Ranger will have to make a split-second decision and shoot the right guy. They will be using non-lethal cartridges that leave a water-based coloring so they can see exactly where the bullets hit. First, the fight science team has to suck enough oxygen out of the chamber to simulate altitude at 15,000 feet. The, the concept of building an altitude enclosure around a climbing wall has been bounced around for a while. And as far as I know, this is the first time it's ever been done. The oxygen is extracted from the airtight chamber through these molecular air separators. They suck the air out through a bank of hoses, separate out the oxygen molecules, and pump it back in to simulate high altitude. Along the way, we were measuring pulse ox, or basically how much oxygen is saturated in the blood. Now, normally, you're at about 98%. As the altitude increases, the oxygen saturation in the blood decreases. A reading of 95% or less could indicate hypoxia, which means the body isn't getting enough oxygen. Prolonged exposure to this environment could lead to dizziness, muscle fatigue, and heart failure. With the chamber simulating 15,000 feet, we're ready for the first test. All right, Jeff, are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. He seems to be handling it pretty well. Uh, body functions all seem pretty normal, just elevated due to the regular stress of exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, pull him down. Come on down. Okay, go and grab your weapon. Okay, hit, hit, hit. Okay, good. Go ahead, put the weapon on safe. Jeff's blood oxygen saturation dropped down to 89%, which could indicate significant hypoxia in a normal human being. But Jeff is accustomed to working in this environment, and it has no effect on his precision. He hits the armed opponent's center body mass. 